and peace talks between Taliban and the government in Kabul have hit multiple roadblocks. The two sides cannot seem to agree on a power sharing mechanism and with the U.S. troops withdrawing, the minority Hazar community in Afghanistan is now apprehensive about its future. Our next report gets you all the details. The mountains of Afghanistan are gearing up for the next round of conflict. Even though the United States last year, under Donald Trump, signed the historic peace deal with the Taliban in Doha. Many within Afghanistan have shrugged it off as nothing more than a withdrawal deal by the United States. The troubled nation is bracing itself for its next round of power struggle. The United States presently has just about 2,500 troops on the ground. Even these could be scaled down further from May 2021. And this has got the persecuted minority Hazara community very worried. We believe that the only way for Hazara people to choose is to stand. As long as they do not stand, they are always oppressed. When we stand, at least our conscience is clear in front of our people. Hazaras fear that the present Kabul government may collapse. The country could descend into full-scale civil war again. Unfortunately, our expectation from the government to defend us was not fulfilled and we had to take the gun and stand in defense in order to survive. Otherwise, we pay taxes, there's a government and the budget is spent. They must defend us. But we have not been defended for many years and our people have been in very bad situation. Identified by their distinctive facial features, Hazaras also happen to be Shias. They comprise just about 10 to 20 percent of the population. They have borne the brunt of the rising violence, as suicide bombers have attacked their mosques, schools and hospitals in Western Kabul's Hazara enclave. If the insecurity increases, of course, they are more vulnerable. Because uh, even with the presence of the U.S. troops or NATO troops in Afghanistan, they were already vulnerable. Meanwhile, Joe Biden has asked Zalmei Khalilzad to stay on as the United States Special Representative to Afghanistan. The Biden administration has stated that it is looking at the fine print of the Afghan peace deal. But in the cold mountains of Afghanistan, the Hazaras are under no illusion. That lasting peace and security in the troubled nation is still a long way away. Bureau report, we on World is One. Co-presented by... Skoda. Simply clever. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.